In the quiet village of Seke, a harrowing tale of crime and retribution unfolded, capturing the attention of the nation. Obvious Mutake, a 31-year-old man from Wonder Village, found himself at the center of a tragic murder. The story begins in December 2022, when Edson Chiduro, a fellow villager, proposed love to the minor daughter of his 30-year-old girlfriend, which is a taboo. The situation escalated when the 15-year-old girl who was under the care of her uncle, Ovias Mutake, reported Shiduro's advances. Driven by a mix of protective instinct and outrage, Mutake was angered that a man in his late 30s was not only proposing love to his 15-year-old niece, but was also making sexual advances, yet also dating his sister. He then made a terrible decision alongside an accomplice named Tashinga Mawungo. They persuaded the young girl to lure Chiduro to their residence under the pretense of accepting his romantic proposal. On that fateful day, Chiduro, unsuspecting of the trap laid for him, received a message that she was alone and arrived at Mutake's home to take advantage of her. As he entered the teenager's room and began to undress, Mutake and Mawungu burst in. He was trapped with no way to run to. He tried to beg for mercy, but they beat him up for nearly two hours with booted feet, empty bottles, and sticks. The severity of the beating left Shiduro grievously injured. Mutake and Mawungu, in a bid to conceal their crime, carried the battered man to Monda Village Cemetery, leaving him amidst the graves with his belongings stripped away. Passers-by discovered Shiduro in the early hours of the morning, lying in agony, his body marked with the evidence of the savage attack. He was rushed to Chitungwiza Central Hospital, where he received the treatment but was later discharged. Tragically, his condition worsened and on the evening of January 1, 2023, he was pronounced dead upon his return to hospital. A post-mortem examination revealed that the injuries sustained during the assault were the cause of his demise. The wheels of justice began to turn as Mutake was arraigned before the courts, facing murder charges for his actions. The case brought to light the grim reality of vigilante justice and the devastating consequences that follow. As the community of Seke grappled with the aftermath of his crime, questions of morality, law, and order lingered in the air, leaving a sober reflection of the value of human life and the pursuit of justice. His case is still under trial. He is yet to be sentenced.